Okay, so I know I haven't made a video in a while, and uh, I've got a few things to make a video about, so I guess I'm just going to do it. Um, here's the Mustang that I ran at Springdale, Arkansas. It's not hurt at all. It's got a stock 2-3 in it. It ain't nothing done to it. Hell, I haven't even put a cage or anything in it, really, besides the halo bar, my gas tank. My halo. 13 inch mud tires on the back and 14s on the front. Just gives a little more height than the front end. It ain't even hurt that bad. It's been raining like a son of a bitch out here lately, so pretty fucking muddy. The only damage is I got hit right here. This pushed me up over the wall. That's what put me out is this hit. Tore the skin on the door. But it didn't do much. And again, it's a pretty clean car. I didn't hardly any rust in it. Got the DC 4 to 1 on it. Pretty nice little setup. 8 inch in the back. And here's my buddy's project. Pin up wagon. We've been working on it here lately. Trying to get it going. Um, it's about ready to be done, I guess you could say. I had to do a little bit of floorboard work. The floorboards were a little rusty. That one still is. We got to fix it and fix that one. And I guess we need to do a little more on that one too. But we're getting getting closer to being done with this one. Still got to move all the solenoid and shit to the inside of the car. 76 old front bumper on the front of it it's pretty I think it's a 74 pin off I believe I'm not 100% sure because I don't know none of the tail lights or nothing were in it when I got it so I can't really tell you what it is it's got a stock 2-3 in it too DC 4 and a 1 header there's the hood for it I mean it's a pretty pretty nice car overall really I guess if you want to do any work to them. But yeah, there's a stock pinto bumper. I've heard they're kind of hard, but I'd just rather run something that I know is hard versus something that's kind of hard. You get what I'm saying? Anybody needs a carburetor? I've got fucking plenty of them. I don't know what all they really came off of. All I know is. I bought a car the other day and there's a shit ton of carburetors in it, so if you need something, uh, let me know the model and make of it. And I might be able to get you what you're needing. There's the newest addition to the collection over here. If I can get over there. Oh shit. It's pretty fucking muddy. It's a fox body trunk. We had to, we bought it pre-ran. My buddy did anyway. We've had to do a little work to it. We still gotta do a little work to it. It's not a bad car. We took the stock exhaust off of it and kind of rigged a header up, put the put the O2 sensor and stuff in it. And, but we just gotta figure out what's wrong with it. We don't really know. Some reason it's just not running right. Put that back on. It. But yeah, I mean it's it's ready to go if we can get it running again. Keyword if. <laughs> I don't know what else to really do to try to get it going again. the rear end got pushed forward two inches and we don't know how to really fix that 
As you can see, it's been fucking raining a shit ton. We got five inches in one day. It's getting a little crazy around here. Otherwise, walk back up to the truck. Show you what I've got in the back of it. This is going to be our trip to Metal Mayhem. We got a, some wiring harness. We got a some sort of it's a GM bumper I'm guessing but I don't know really what it is. It's kind of a there's some starter cores and shit for DT cores. Two 28 spline 10 bolt axles if anybody knows someone that's going that needs some that are bolt in. Big bolt pattern GM 10 bolt. You know anybody? Here's what the front of that bumper looks like. I don't know what it is or what it came off of. But if anybody knows if it's worth anything, I mean, it'll be up at Mayhem, so I ain't gonna ask too much for it, but it, it looks like it'd be a, a good bumper if you can load your bumpers. I mean, I wouldn't be scared to run it if I could load them. I mean, it'd be a good one. And I just got a couple of aluminum rims here that are going to DT core. But yeah, the wiring harness and the starters and these aluminum rims will be going up there. But other than that, I just uh, haven't had a video for a while. So I just figured I'd update you guys on what I've been doing. But yeah, that was my last car that I've ran lately. It's still got a few more runs on it, I'd say. But anyway, as of now, that's all I've got. Thank you guys for watching.